everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Modded Let's Play. So we're starting off today with a suggestion from you guys and that is to get one of the mana flower related accessories. I'm going to go with the mana cloak because it's just an all round good accessory. 8% reduced mana usage. We also automatically use mana potions when needed. We have stars fall down when we take damage and those stars can actually restore mana when collected. So yeah, I've always preferred the mana cloak out of all of the mana flower related accessories over anything else so what we're going to do i mean this one technically isn't a damage accessory i'm thinking we go for warding and the thing we're going to take off in favor of the mana cloak is actually the luxor's gift because well we put it on it's supposed to give certain weapons unique projectiles but um in the case of the frigid flash bolt and indeed clothia's wrath I'm not seeing any unique little projectiles. So, yeah, I think a mana-related accessory is very much needed. So there it is, a little bit of warding. Love to see it. We now have 77 defense, which for a mage is actually quite a lot. So I'm pretty happy with that. The other thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to try something. We've got 26 seafood dinners here, right? If I was to get myself four more, I'm wondering if it will give us a permanent major improvements to all stats buff. So if I was to go ahead and put this in here, I'm hoping that it will do the job. So, yeah, there it is. Exquisitely stuffed. And there's no timer to it. Sweet. So now we've got 81 defense. All right. I am feeling way more ready to give the destroyer a bit of a go in today's episode. My friends, it's going to be another action-packed one. Depending on how the destroyer goes, we may even go for the boss after that, which is the brimstone elemental in the brimstone crag biome in the underworld. So my friends, if you are still excited for this series and want to continue seeing more, if we can continue to get 500 likes per episode in this series, we've been absolutely smashing it lately. If we can keep it up, that'll be more than enough to tell me that you guys want to continue seeing more and that you're enjoying the series. Of course, hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you really want to go one further with the support, you can use code Python when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off. So if we're going to do this, we're going to try to do it well, okay? We've got ourselves a bunch of little buff stations here. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that they will do the job. We've got a wizard here as well. We can get ourselves slightly buffed magic-related stuff. That's with the crystal ball, so that's pretty awesome. So yeah, as unsightly as a giant platform in the sky is going to be on our world, it's going to be quite useful, functionally speaking, in terms of, you know, staying alive. So there we are, my friends. We'll see how we wind up doing here. So, ladies and gentlemen, the destroyer. Holy crap, he's big. Oh my god, he's bleeding enormous, isn't he? How much health does he have? 120,000 did I just see? Wow! Okay! <laughs> Holy crap, he's big! <laughs> oh god! Alright, well the good news is he's actually pretty slow moving at the moment. Uh, I don't like the fact that he's kind of coiled himself around me though. Oh, good grief! Yeah, this isn't going that well so far. I've got to be honest. Come on. I am getting debuffs galore here. Oh my god, he's so big. Oh my god. He's absolutely ginormous. I mean, when you're fully zoomed out in your world and the destroyer still takes up the entire screen... Yeah, you got yourself a pretty ginormous boss, don't you? Let's do this thing. Oh! Okay, we're not going to die off the rip, okay? That's what we're not going to do. Okay. All right. If we can get ourselves a bit of a side-to-side -side dealio going, it might not be the worst thing in the entire world. All right, there we are. 1,600 damage per second. I'd say that's pretty all right. Okay. Cool. Okay, right, now he's doing up and down. That's not so good. I'm trying to do a little bit of a sight of... Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, a little bit of that would be very, very nice. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, look at that damage. 5,000 plus damage per second. That, my friends, is way more like it. All right, another little rush here. Oh, wow. Okay. Why does this seem way, way easier than I remember it being? I always remember this being an absolute nightmare. 
But so far, so good. Do I really have that good of a loadout already? Only I'm about to get my adrenaline again. Ow. Oh, 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 that's not very good now, is it? That's not very good at all. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be careful of that. Hey, uh! Yeah, he's going up. Oh my god, his blooming head is just following me, man. Whoa. Okay. Come on. He's gonna come over again. There we are. He is almost dead here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Oh! Make that present tense! He is dead! Sure! <laughs> is it me or was that actually incredibly easy? What the hell, man? That was actually so easy! I don't know, man! I seem to- oh! Every now and again he does that. It's rather nasty as well. Oh, no! He seems to have incredible accuracy with his head attack when it comes to getting to low health, unfortunately. But yeah, we've been using the frigid flash bolt quite a lot, but we haven't really used the clothier's wrath. We haven't really given it a bit of a go, have we? So, I'm going to do exactly that. Let's see what we are capable of doing. Obviously, no damage just yet, since the destroyer is still spawning in. But no matter. Any second now. There we are. There's the damage. Love to see it. 2,500 damage per second. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that feels good, baby. Oh, no. He's got his incredible accuracy again. I don't know how to... I don't know how to avoid that attack. Genuinely. Uh, okay. All right. And now he's probably going to kill me. No. Oh! Incredible accuracy with that head attack, dude. It's so hard to dodge. Uh, okay. Sometimes I can dodge it. Sometimes I can't. Oh, he's dead. Ah, sign of a master mode drop. No, unfortunately not. Ah, well, never mind. Let's do it again. Oh, another successful takedown. Hey, we got a trophy. <laughs> Oh, that's not cool. I spawn him in and he immediately head attacks me. That's not a very good start, if you ask me. Oh, 192,000 health. That's how much it's got, not 120,000. Wow. That's a lot of health he's got, isn't it? <laughs> oh, never mind. Come on. We've been taking him down pretty reliably. So I can't complain too much, can I? Oh, really? And there we go again. And we still haven't got it. We're looking for, I think it's for the deactivated probe, isn't it? That's what we're looking for. To tell you the truth, I can't really tell which is the better weapon out of the two. The frigid flash bolt versus Clothier's wrath. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting higher DPS with the frigid flash bolt. And then sometimes I feel like I'm getting a higher amount of damage per second with Clothier's wrath. I don't know, if I'm being honest. I think they're equally as good as each other. Genuinely, I think they are on exact level peggings. And there he goes again. Still no sign of a deactivated probe, you son of a gun. Would you just, just for once in your life game, can you start giving me the things I'm looking for, like, early on? You know, maybe, maybe we have ourselves a nice lucky... First time master mode drop. Yeah, bit of adrenaline. Look at it do. Lots of damage. 10,000 plus damage per second, I think I just saw there. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> he had 1,400 health left. Maybe like half a second more and he would have been dead. Bro, <laughs> what is that? Anyway, I realized we never actually checked out the lore item for the destroyer. The Godseeker Knights of my company were far and away my finest soldiers. They championed my cause and I championed them in return. I bestowed upon them hulking armor and colossal weaponry so their might would never falter. Some days I would take time to train by their side, inspiring them to new heights of righteous fury. Drayden understood well and granted them these massive Massive forms, bristling with weaponry and interlocked armor forged of blessed metal. While in truth it was repurposed mining equipment, their sheer presence on the battlefield was immense. 
Yeah, quite right. Yeah, the destroyer is pretty damn immense, especially in Calamity Death Mode. It's bloody enormous, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, anyways, here we are. We've got ourselves the little relic at the very least. And, of course, we've got the law item, which is going to be slotted right in there. Oh! Ah! Oh! Craig! Come on, man! I take down the destroyer several times in a row, and then he kills me in return several times in a row. I'm not okay with that. Can we please get to the point of consistently being able to take him down... Please, thank you. I'd appreciate it. Oh! <laughs> Got a bit close at the end there, but we did it again. And guess what? No master mode drop. This game is really pushing my buttons. Hey, guys, guess what? Guess what? Did we get it? No! <laughs> Ever seen a grown man go insane from the lack of luck in RNG? You probably are doing now. <laughs> God, I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> Gee, are we going to get it? Wait, where did they drop? Where did everything drop? What the? Oh, it's on the floor. Uh, Did we get it? Oh, there we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it, guys. We got it. We got it. You know, as much as we may have got the deactivated probe shortly after me complaining about our lack of luck and RNG, it doesn't it, it doesn't change anything. I hate I hate it. I hate it. I hate RNG. I hate relying on luck to get drops. It is genuinely one of the worst practices in video games. I hate it. Hey guys, check this out. I randomly stumbled across this. Uh, this guy actually sells truffle worms, would you believe? Yeah. So if we want to try and take down the little dookie boy later down in the series, then uh, we can with absolute ease. We don't even have to worry about, you know, go capturing truffle worms or anything like that. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, a long bleeding last. There it is. The Master Mode Drop 4, the Destroyer, the Deactivated Pro. We done did it. We done got it. We got another Lord in them. <laughs> we don't need the Lord in them. But as far as I'm concerned, I do not believe we're going to have to take down the Destroyer again. Not unless we're going to do any kind of, like, boss rush or something silly like that. Maybe we try and get ourselves down to the Brimstone Biome. We have a look and see what we can do about the Brimstone Elemental. How do we even make the Brimstone Elemental Summoner? That is the real question, isn't it? Let's have a look here real quick. Uh, Brimstone Elemental requires the Charred Idol. Shouldn't be too difficult, I imagine. Let's have a look here. We need uh, Essences of Havoc, Unholy Cause, and Souls of Night. I mean, that's got to be easy, my friend. So Infernal Suvite and Hellstone will make ourselves the unholy cause required for the Charred Idol. And then the rest of it is just kind of a case of just trying to farm a bit in the underworld. Ah, here we are, my friends. This is the Brimstone biome. And this should be where we can farm out a bunch of Essences of Havoc. Yep, there we have it. Lovely. I think we needed seven. And then, of course, we need to go ahead and mine ourselves some of this stuff. Oh, that's Brimstone Slag. What we're looking for... Oh, I can't mine this stuff? Ooh, that is interesting. Although, then again, we do still only have a Molten Pickaxe. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Slurper Pole, 25% fishing power. Can fish in lava as well. Nice. The only thing is, it's got less fishing power than some of my other rods. Well then, my friends, I guess the time has come. We need to get ourselves started with our hard mode ore supply. We're looking for palladium and or cobalt to start off with here, of course. All right, let's just check it out. Oh, it's adamantite and titanium. We actually have the top tier hard mode ores already. Ah... Okay, so we just need to get ourselves some cobalt slash palladium first, and then we can get ourselves orichalcum and or mithril, and then we can go from there. Okay, 70 bits of cobalt. I mean, let's be honest, that'll probably do the job. So we just push on down here, and there they are. We've got cobalt bars, and then we should be able to make a cobalt pickaxe with that pretty easy like. Uh, where is it? There it is. Nice. I wonder, we've got all these crates here. What if we do a little bit of a crate opening? Maybe we can boost up our hard mode or supplies that way. Obviously, the pre-hard mode crates, I don't believe, will give us anything. Not really. Uh, just pre-hard mode ores and a few potions here and there. I mean, I guess that's kind of all right. So then, pearl wood crates. We have a lot of these. I expect I'll wind up with enough ores to make myself maybe a mithril anvil. I'm hoping, anyway. 
I guess we'll see. Uh, let's go for the Mithril Crates next. Oh, there's lots going on. Oh, we've got some high-end bait as well. Love to see it. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lots and lots of stuff again. Uh, let's move on to the weird and wonderful crates. We've got the Boreal Crate here. Essences of Helium. Ooh, man. Lots of stuff indeed. Okay, and then we've got Titanium Crates. Oh, snappers. You're telling me I don't have any at all. No way, man. How is it possible we get adamantite and titanium before we got mithril and orichalcum? <laughs> what? 159 orichalcum all? Is that enough? Um, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, we just need enough to make ourselves an anvil and also, of course, the pickaxe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got enough. Let's just confirm that, though. There is, of course, the anvil. Let's zoom on in here so I can actually see what's going on, because I'm an old fart who can't see things, apparently. Uh, and let's do this thing. Orokalkan pickaxe. And there we have it. Orokalkan pickaxe has been obtained. Is it possible we have ourselves enough adamantite and or titanium to be able to make ourselves an adamantite or titanium pickaxe? I don't know. Uh, right, where do we make ourselves the forge? Ah, here it is. Okay, so, right, what do we have the least of? Okay, so we've got the least amount of titanium. So we'll place that down there. We'll make ourselves a bunch of adamantite here. Oh, yeah, there's going to be more than enough there to make ourselves a pickaxe. There it is. Alrighty, here we are. The test is, can we go ahead and mine this stuff? Yes, we can. There we are. Infernal Suvite. Wings? Wait, what? We got ourselves wings? Huh. Skrillian wings. A horizontal speed, 6.5 flight time, 60. That is appalling. Compared to my current wings here, they're pretty bad, aren't they? All right, there we are. Ah, oh, unholy corso. There it is. Chart idol has been obtained. Oh, snappers. This should be an interesting one, my friends. Let's see how we do against the Brimstone Elemental. I seem to remember when I did the Brimstone Elemental in my previous series, it was an absolute breeze. Like, almost insultingly easy for death mode. We'll see if there has been any changes uh, in just a second here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Chard Idol, the Brimstone Laddie. How's it hanging there, broski? Right, let's see if I can remember this. Yep, lots and lots of bullets, does a little bit of a hover around, and then it sort of goes into a shell, I believe, after teleporting. Right? Oh, so yeah, there you go. There's the shell. There's all of the projectiles. Just got to be careful of them all, basically. Uh, we actually almost have adrenaline here, which I'm pretty surprised about. Uh, okay, make that present tense. I do have adrenaline. Epic! Love to see it. I don't think I did a great deal of damage, though, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah. See, when the projectiles come out, you just need to keep your distance, basically. That's all you gotta do. You just keep that distance between you and him, and you'll be all right. Well, I'll tell you what. This is certainly more of an endurance fight compared to previously. And this guy does seem to do a little bit more damage as well. Look at that. We're only about a quarter of the way down here. I feel like that's kind of bonkers, actually. All right. Well, here we are at the halfway point, pretty much. No sign of any changes in the AI. Nothing to suggest a second phase. Well, I am taking... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Okay. <laughs> that guy is no longer insultingly easy. Good job, Calamity Devs. Okay, I think this guy has very much been brought in line with the progression. <laughs> wow, okay. Ah, uh, it's kind of annoying, though, because I now need to sort of, like, actually manually make my way back down there. All right, let's begin on placing down some buffs. I've already got one little buff station there. This time, I have included stars and bottles, so I can use my mage weapons just a little bit more. All right, buff stations placed down, covering a good amount of this uh, brimstone crag biome. Oh, yeah, let's do this thing again. Hello there, buddy. Come on, then. Try me. I have buffs this time. And a good amount of it. In fact, I forgot to put these on. Boom. There we are. <laughs> oh, we are buffed to the brim now, my friends. Or should I say, buffed to the brimstone. <laughs> no! Oh! 
split second of adrenaline gone. Hate it when it happens. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. No! <laughs> I just didn't do it! Damn it! Ah! Uh... You know what I think I need, my friends? I think I need a fresh new episode to spend entirely on the Brimstone Elemental. Yeah? I think if I push it any further today, I'm going to wind up hating myself for not being able to do it. So yeah, fresh new episode is what's needed. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do the comment of the day to wrap up. So for today, my friends, the comment of the day comes from LaFerrari, who says, Hey, Python, with the Summoner LP coming to a close soon, do you have any plans to fill it with another Let's Play? Or are you going to focus on the Calamity and main Let's Play? Love the vids, and I'm glad to see you enjoying the game again. Hey, I really am enjoying the game again. I mean, I'm releasing episodes daily. I mean, if that doesn't tell you that I'm enjoying the game, I don't know what will. I genuinely have been absolutely loving this game lately, my friends, truly. But uh, yeah, it's not only the Summoner Let's Play that's going to be coming to a close fairly soon. The main Let's Play is actually sort of slowly bearing down on the finish. There's not too much more that I want to do. There's a few more builds I want to do on there. There's maybe one more class setup video as well. And uh, yeah, aside from that... Once those two have come to an end, if Calamity isn't finished by then as well, then I guess we'll be focusing on Calamity just for a little tiny bit. I wouldn't mind trying to get back to the point of just having one series running at any one time on this channel. And when that time comes, what I'm hoping I'm going to do is a Master Mage Let's Play. You may remember I tried to do one before. I think it lasted 14 episodes and I wound up just sort of leaving it for whatever reason. And I feel like it is high time... We revisited that series. I mean, started anew, but revisited the idea and actually got it done. So, look forward to that, but it's not going to be anytime soon, okay? I want to get my current series all done first, which I hope is something that you guys are on board with. So, for now, my friends, it is time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, despite my raging at RNG, which honestly seems to be like an episodely thing that goes on now, then I would, of course, appreciate it if you'd head down below the video and drop a like to support the series. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content but for now thanks for watching have a fantastic rest of your day we've still pwned the destroyer into the ground at the end of the day so you know we've still done some good things today thanks for watching have a great rest of your day thank you for your support and i'll see you guys in the next episode Bye bye